Hey there, comic fans. This is Comic Fan. One more time with another combo haul. I got a good stack of books again, and uh, I'll go ahead and get this started. Um, tell you a couple places I went to during the last time we met. I went to the good old Frank and Sons, my good, uh, well-known flea market. I uh, had a show a couple of weeks ago. Hit that up. And just a little bit of eBay finds. Uh, let's see. So the first place I went to was... Um, oh, yeah. Well, I got two books from Frankincense. I did manage to hunt down Justice League Gear Up number six, uh, which I was trying to verify whether or not uh, I could find the first appearance of Crimson Fox. Crimson Fox is, yes, indeed in here, and in a small two-panel cameo where she is named uh, the Red Fox, not the Crimson Fox. Same costume. I think DC's allowed to change the name a little bit, don't you think? Crimson is a form of red, you know. Okay, great. Got that for a buck. Uh, here's something I'm really happy about. Uh, I've got a spider Mo spider woman run going and here is the first appearance of gypsy moth a lot of corny uh villains uh did spider woman have to battle gypsy moth just happens to be the original character which eventually evolves into uh skine skine uh was a brief uh brief member of the thunderbolts so i thought that was kind of noteworthy and uh it doesn't hurt that it Fits into my Spider Woman run. That Spider Woman number ten. I got that for a uh, for a buck also. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, got a couple of eBay purchases here. Nothing fancy, but some some more run fillers. This here, um, Shaun of the Sea Devil number four. I definitely needed to fill in this Shaun of the Sea Devil uh, <clears throat> run. And it also doesn't doesn't hurt that we've got another first appearance. First appearance of Mandrill. Mandrill uh, is a, uh, uh, you know, a little mutation there. Um, it's a fun read. I, I liked it. Uh, a couple members of the YouTube mini, uh, community really hyped this up. But uh, in the in the uh, Gene Paulus Peter off air hangouts, uh, he likes it. Yeah, he he touts this up quite a bit. In fact, uh, he has made me the honorary uh, vice president of the Mandrill Club. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Another EB purchase here. Ghost Rider number seven. I thought this would also be, also be uh, kind of cool to finish this little run. It's a small run. Uh, Silver Age goodness. I figure why not? Uh, Ghost Rider, the Western Ghost Rider has always been a favorite of mine. He's a, he's a badass. Yeah. I like that. Got that for, uh, let's see, how much did I get that for? Uh, 15 bucks. Not too bad. And then off to my little show that I frequented. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to hold off on that. A couple of store buys. One more eBay purchase. Marvel Chillers number three. Seems that I've got a, a little theme here going with, with small small runs. Uh, small runs seem to appeal a lot to me because they're easy to collect. They don't have a lot of commitment. <laughs> Apparently, I have commitment issues. Who knew? Um, but this is something that was a little interesting. This is the origin of Tigra. And um, I'm really a big fan of Tigra. Really like her. Uh, in fact, I really wanted to get a nice copy of this. So I go on eBay. Short little story. Go on eBay and uh find this seller who sells almost nothing but slab books graded books what have you and he has this one raw book he puts it in in the listing that it's like an 8.0 and 8.0 is okay with me um 8.0 cgc ready oh it's got to be great right right um apparently the seller and i have a little uh disagreement with the way we grade things i'll show you why I think I always have to do this once in every video where I have to open something up because I love the sound that the tape makes. Okay, so anyway, he and I have a little discrepancy here. Uh, an 8.0 should not have chipping on the corner, right? That nah, That is not a qualified. This is really bad chipping, too, as far as an 8.0 would be concerned. Bad, 
bad, bad, bad, bad. Uh, no, this is not an 8.0. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, really bad. Bit of a spiral there. Uh, so, needless to say, I got this book for free. Um, gave me a complete refund. Let me keep the book. Not of such a bad guy after all. I got a free book, but that was not the condition I was looking for. So the hunt continues on that. Um, anyway, within the same run there, I got a Marvel Chillers number seven. Whereas the first before was Marvel Chillers number three. This is the last issue of the series. Um, this was ar abruptly stopped um, in the last in the last panel, it shows that this is the last issue. It's kind of sad because I really like Tiger. I thought it was a, uh, the artwork was excellent in this series uh, as far as Tiger, Tiger was concerned. The first two issues was actually Mordor to the Mystic, and then three through seven went on to feature Tigra. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, now we're gonna go on to the, the little show that uh, I did with Rocket Comics. Um, couple of dollar finds excellent dollar finds i really was happy with what i found in the dollar bins starting with this i found a detective detective comics number 38 it's the toys r us reprint um it's got some some issues with the condition but really if you can have a reprint of the first appearance of robin for a buck uh, you know i'm not gonna leave that no siri Another buck find, dollar find, was Spider-Woman number four. Uh, it's got some condition issues, but for a buck, and I'm trying to fill the run, I'm not going to put that behind. And it's a good, uh, it's, it's a good uh, placemaker uh, until I find a better condition book. Another excellent, you guys see this, see these periodically through my halls, the Hanna-Barbera comics, love them. This was really bad condition. Uh, but you know what? I can't leave that for a buck. Uh, Hanna-Barbera, Laugh Olympics number one. Nope. That's coming home with me. All right. Uh, what else did I find for a buck? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Green Lantern number 48. First appearance of Kyle Rayner. Nope. That's not staying there. That's coming home with me. For a buck? Absolutely. Ah, uh, an Avengers number 181 for a buck. What am I going to say about that? Come on. That, that's that got a, no. It's got some condition issues for, but yet again, for a buck, not leaving that one in there. I also got New Mutants number 14. First appearance of Miss Rasputin as um, Magic. Excellent dollar find. Excellent dollar find. I was really happy with that. Uh, let's see. And then a couple of priced books. I got um, Black Panther number one from the Dark Rain. Um, the Dark Rain series. Excellent uh, for four bucks. Uh, I've got the whole series, but my first issue is a second print. So that's a great addition to, to that series. And then another $4 book for uh, Uncanny X-Men number 145. Absolutely. That's another run filler. Uh, I need to collect uh, Uncanny X-Men number 94 through 150. So I'm getting closer. Book by book, I'm getting there. One more from that show. I found in a Spidey Super Stories. Number one from the Electric Company. Always had a soft spot for this for this series as a kid because I always watched it as a kid. Uh, I felt a little shame buying this because... Yeah. <laughs> Because it's a, okay, let me just tell you, it's an easy reader issue. And apparently these were trying to appeal to kids, <clears throat> rightfully so, because they sh appeared on the electric company and they were trying to get kids to read. So uh, it's easy to read. I felt a little guilty reading this, but that's okay. It's a number one. It's one of the ones I was trying to find for quite a few years. And I found it at the show for 15 bucks. Not bad. All right, and my last book, uh, one last eBay um, purchase, I found Strange Tales number one fourteen. This book, um, it's not, uh, it's not a big key issue, but it's got some significance to it. Let me tell you about it. Uh, 
Captain America, this is the first time in Strange Tales number 114 and in comic books that they use the Captain America, uh, the, the Captain America, uh, they, this is the first time they've used them in comic books since World War II. Very interesting. So if you're trying to find an early, um, early appearance of Captain America uh, before his regular series of Captain America number 100, this is something you might want to look into. However, I will caution and warn you that this is not actually Steve Rogers. Uh, excuse me. It's not actually Steve, Steve Rogers. This is an acrobat dressed up as Captain America. So, more or less, it's something that, uh, that Marvel used as a tryout issue to see if there was renewed interest in Captain America. And that's not the only thing that this book has going for it. It's also the third appearance of, uh, of Doctor Strange. Early appearance of Doctor Strange with that together. I, I think it's a pretty uh, noteworthy book. Uh, it also has a first appearance. Uh, first appearance of... Uh, uh, let's see, who is it? It's, uh, it is uh, Baron Mordo's assistant. Not a huge first appearance. But if it were to ever turn into something, this would be the book. So um, that is pretty much up for my haul. I thank you for sticking with me. And uh, I also am very happy that you guys took time out of your day to come and watch this video. I know there's a tons and tons of videos to so go out and watch over there. And I'm just happy that I'm one of them. So thank you very much, guys. This is Comic Fan signing out. And I will see you later. See you guys later. Bye-bye.